Since 93 Sports, the only place for sports, entertainment, and the most relevant social issues of today. since 93 sports back with another one as you can see the past couple days tevin farmer and gavante tank davis have been going at it on twitter basically gavante tank davis uh, you know the the tables are turned now it's, it's gavante davis basically begging tevin farmer for a fight after he wins or after assumably tevin farmer will win the ibs strap as you all remember, back in August on the Floyd Mayweather Conor McGregor undercard, Gavante Tank Davis had a huge opportunity to showcase his talent in front of millions and millions of people on the biggest stage in boxing. And of course, we all know what happened. He failed to make weight and he lost his strap on the scales. And it was it was sort of a lackluster fight. The fight ended controversially with him hitting the guy on the back of the head and people wondering if he was going to get disqualified, if they was going to score it, uh, a knockdown, you know, thankfully he ended up, you know, getting out of the, the contest with a clean knockout, but it was a little bit controversial, man. And it kind of made people think is Gervonta Davis going to be the next Adrian Bruner, one of those guys that has tons of talent, but he just can't seem to, to beat himself. You know, he can't overcome himself in his own demons and we seen he's he's facing his assault charges from what happened in the gym and that's a whole nother situation i made a video about that i believe that was a few weeks ago i want to say but uh yeah we got tank davis begging tevin farmer for a fight and you really can't blame blame tevin farmer for um acting the way he's acting right now um i'm gonna link put a link in the description box of a video fight hype did to where um Floyd Mayweather was basically just stunting on Tevin Farmer saying he has to go get a title before they'll fight him and talking about how the guy that they beat Jose Pedraza knocked out Tevin Farmer years ago and saying how basically Tank Davis is a six seven figure fighter and Tevin Farmer's making four or five grand a fight and he's not even on a level saying there's basically levels to it. And they shitted on him, you know. And a lot of people are saying, oh, you know, Tevin Farmer saw for saying that Gervonta Davis got to beat some people and become the mandatory before he'll fight him. And he basically just doing to, to Tank Davis what um, Tank Davis did to Tevin Farmer. And you really can't, can't blame the guy. 
why is Tank Davis not going after some of these other sanctioned bodies? You know, it's kind of uh, disrespectful towards Tevin Farmer because right away Tank Davis is feeling like he's the weakest champion, so he wants to attack him. We got other champions. It's not like Tevin Farmer's the only champ, but the only potential champion. He hasn't even won the vacant title that he's going to be fighting for on the Lomachenko Rigondale undercard. I don't even know the name of the guy that he's fighting for the vacant strap, but he's fighting for that strap on that Lomachenko Rigondale undercard. So I'll, I'll be watching out for that. But it's interesting, man. We got a lot of other champions. We got the the guy Albert Machado who just beat Jezreel Corrales. He could go after. We got Miguel Burchelt, the huge puncher that that beat the shit out of Francisco Vargas and Takashi Miura. We got, um, of course, Lomachenko, and there's a lot of guys out there. I haven't seen the ranking system. Um, I know Tevin Farmer's ranked number three in the IBF. I, I want to say there's no one and two guy in the IBF rankings. The IBF kind of slick about that to where they never have a mandatory guy. The, the one spot's always, you know, not rated or, or vacant or, or whatever. So that's interesting, man. I would like to see the fight. I would love to see the fight. Um, Tevin Farmer is a guy who's really kind of underrated, man. When you see him fight, man, the guy's, he's really slick. He's really a really uh, flashy guy. He does things that, that you see. You would only see a guy like a, a seasoned veteran. And this guy started boxing late. So he had to learn on the job, but he, he looks really polished in there and really sharp. He just doesn't have the devastating knockout power that, that Tank Davis has. But in my opinion, um, he, he, he beats him in a few categories. I, I will break that down if the fight is made in some time. But I understand both sides, man. I really got to take Tevin Farmer's side in this situation because – Tank Davis and his whole team, they shitted on him. You know, told him he had to do all this shit to get a fight. And now the tables are turned. And Tevin Farmer's a guy in the driver's seat if he wins the IBF strap, which he's favored to do. Um, you know, he, he uh, the ball's in his court, man. And he's just telling him, hey, you, be, you make yourself mandatory, I'll fight you. And you can't really blame the guy for that, man, the way they treated him when the tables were turned and they were champion and he was the guy looking for a fight with the champion. So uh, that's my thoughts on the situation. Make sure y'all like, subscribe, and comment, and hit that bell icon to be notified when all my latest content drops. And I'm out.